Elia Nikolaevich Brizkolov is a Russian professional ice hockey goaltender who is currently an unrestricted free agent. He was selected in the second round of the 2000 NHL entry draft, 44th overall, by the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. He has also played for the Phoenix Coyotes, Philadelphia Flyers, Edmonton Oilers and Minnesota Wild. In 2006 a Euro 07 season, Brizgolov won the Stanley Cup with the Anaheim Ducks. Internationally, he has earned a bronze medal with Russia at the 2002 Winter Olympics, and a silver medal at the 2000 World Junior Championships. Brizgolov also competed in the 2004 World Cup of Hockey, and is a three-time Olympian. He helped Team Russia as starting goaltender win back-to-back -back gold medals at the 2009 World Ice Hockey Championships, making them rank number one in the world. He was also runner-up for the Wiesner Trophy and a top-five finalist for the Hart Trophy in the 2009 Euro 10 season. Playing career equals Early years and Anaheim tenure equals, Brizgolov started his professional career in his native Russia, splitting the 1999 Euro 2000 season between Spartak Moscow of the Russian Supreme League and Lada Togliati of the Russian Super League. Brizgolov played two seasons with Lada Togliati before joining the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim, who had drafted him in the second round, 44th overall, in the 2000 NHL entry draft. However, with Gene Zar copyright Bastian Giguari and Martin Gerber ahead of him in the club's depth chart, Brizgolov spent the better part of his first four seasons in North America with the Cincinnati Mighty Ducks of the American Hockey League. He made his Mighty Ducks debut in 2001 Euro 02, playing in his first of two games during that four-season stretch. With the departure of backup Gerber, Brizgolov took over behind Giguari in 2005 Euro 06 season. However, injuries to the Ducks starter allowed Brizgolov to play more games than he otherwise would have and he responded to the challenge with a 13 a Euro 12 a Euro 1 record with a 2.51 goals against average and .910 save percentage. In the subsequent playoffs, Brizgolov made three starts and one relief appearance for the Ducks in their first round series against the Calgary Flames. In Game 1, he filled in for an injured Giguari, taking a 2 a Euro 1 overtime loss. He relieved Giguari once more in Game 5 and stopped all 19 shots he faced in a 3 a Euro 2 loss. He then took over the starting job for Games 6 and 7 of the series, winning 2 a Euro 1 in Game 6 and recording a shutout in the decisive Game 7. Moving past the Flames, Brizgolov then recorded 5 a Euro 0 and 3 a Euro 0 shutouts in the first two games of the second series against the Colorado Avalanche for three consecutive shutouts. He tied Frank Merkel's 1945 playoff record for most consecutive shutouts by a rookie and passed Giguari, who had recorded consecutive shutouts in 2003 for the third longest playoff shutout streak of all time. Despite his success in the first two rounds, Brizgolov struggled in the semi finals against the Edmonton Oilers and was eventually replaced by Giguari for the rest of the series as the Ducks were eliminated in five games. Brizgolov continued to play back up to Giguari the following season and into the 2007 playoffs. Brizgolov made comments regarding Anaheim Ducks head coach Randy Carlyle, saying he believed Carlyle has no confidence in him. However, he briefly took over as the starter for the first four games of the Western Conference quarterfinals, winning three games as Giguari took a leave of absence with personal issues. Brizgolov came in for relief in the Western Conference Finals against the Detroit Red Wings, but remained on the bench as the Ducks went on to defeat the Ottawa Senators in the finals in five games to win the franchise's first Stanley Cup. Equals Phoenix Coyotes equals, with the re-signing of Giguari to a four-year contract in the offseason and the acquisition of Jonas Hiller from Switzerland, the Ducks attempted to trade Brizgolov, but were unable to. General Manager Brian Burke claimed he had a deal worked out at the 2007 NHL entry draft, but could not finish it. As a result, on November 16, 2007, Brizgolov was placed on waivers and claimed by the Phoenix Coyotes the following day, on November 17. In his first game with the team that same day, Brizgolov made 27 saves for his third career shutout in a 1-0 win over the Los Angeles Kings. 
Phoenix promptly signed him to a three-year contract extension and he went on to record 26 wins in 55 games for the Coyotes as they battled for a playoff spot, establishing himself as the club's starting goaltender. Brizgolov again recorded 26 wins for the Coyotes during the 2008-09 season, though the Coyotes did not qualify for the playoffs. But the 2009-10 season would be a different story for Brizgolov and the Coyotes, who would qualify for the playoffs for the first time since 2002 on the back of Brizgolov's 42 victories. The fourth-seeded Coyotes would face off against the veteran Detroit Red Wings in the Western Conference quarterfinals. The series proved to be a seesaw battle that eventually saw Detroit prevail in seven games. Brizgolov averaged 3.43 goals against per game during the series. Despite the uncertainties surrounding the Coyotes during the 2010-11 season, Brizgolov's 36 wins helped them to the sixth seed in the Western Conference and a return trip to the playoffs. Once again, the Coyotes faced the Red Wings. Despite Brizgolov's strong play throughout the regular season, he struggled in the playoff rematch with Detroit, averaging 4.36 goals against per game as the Red Wings swept the Coyotes in four straight games. Set to become an unrestricted free agent in the offseason, the Coyotes did not meet Brizgolov's asking price for a contract extension. On June 6, 2011, Brizgolov's negotiation rights were traded to the Philadelphia Flyers for a third round pick in the 2012 NHL entry draft, Ford Matt Claxon, and future considerations. Brizgolov averaged 33 victories a season the past four seasons with the Coyotes. Equals Philadelphia Flyers equals, during the previous two seasons, the Flyers had lacked a player who consistently filled the starting goaltender position. The duo of Michael Layton and Brian Boucher were able to help the team to the 2010 Stanley Cup Finals in place of the injured starter Ray Emery, but neither goaltender held onto the starting position for an extended period of time. Rookie Sergei Bobrovsky was the Flyers starter in the 2010 Euro 11 season but he and Boucher formed another tandem with similar inconsistency, including a dismal playoff for both. On June 23, 2011, the Flyers signed Brizgolov to be their new starter, and signed him to a nine-year, $51 million contract. In order to accommodate his contract under the team's salary cap, the Flyers made two high-profile trades an hour before the Brizgolov signing was first reported, sending Jeff Carter to the Columbus Blue Jackets and Captain Mike Richards to the Los Angeles Kings. On October 27, 2011, following a 9 Euro 8 loss to the Winnipeg Jets, Brizgolov commented on his own play, I have zero confidence in myself right now, he said. He also likened himself to somebody lost in the woods, and that if you probably throw a ball instead of the puck, I'm not gonna stop it. However, Brizgolov would quickly rebound by winning six of his next eight games. He would become well known for his comments regarding the universe during the filming of HBO's 24-7 series A Euro Solar System is so humongous big, right? But if you see, the like, our solar system and our galaxy on the like on the side, you know, like, and we Euro unregistered trademark re so small a Euro you can never see it a Euro our galaxy is like huge. But if you see the big picture, our galaxy small tiny like dot in universe. Like, and I think like, a euro and we have some problems here on the earth we worry about? A euro unregistered trademark compared to like. Nothing. Just. Be happy. Don't your euro unregistered trademark t worry, be happy right now. His comments have resulted in some good fun, including how when requesting information about the universe, Siri instead returns information about Brizgolov, referring to him as Mr. Universe. Brizgolov made news when he said he believed that Sergei Bobrovsky would be the starter for the 2012 NHL Winter Classic, I have great news and even better news. OK, great news is I'm not playing, and better news is we have a chance to win the game, make sure I don't forget my thermos with some nice tea and enjoy the bench, he said. Bobrovsky then started the Winter Classic on January 2, 2012, a 3 Euro 2 Flyers loss to the New York Rangers at Citizens Bank Park. Following a 6 Euro 4 loss to Pittsburgh on February 18, 2012, Brizgolov was quoted as saying, 
I know I was frustrated in my game today and I know I have to be better and I will continue to work on this, but I will try to find peace in my soul to play in this city. From March 4 to March 13, 2012, Brizgalov recorded four shutouts and allowed just two goals over a five-game span. Two days later, on March 15, Brizgalov set the Flyers' all-time record for longest shutout streak, in a game against the New York Islanders. Brizgalov was named the NHL's first star of the month for March 2012. On May 8, 2012, the Flyers and Brizgalov recorded a 3 Euro 1 loss to the New Jersey Devils, and were eliminated in the second round of the 2012 Stanley Cup playoffs. He recorded a 3.46 goals against average combined with an .887 save percentage during the playoffs. On March 2, 2013, he won his 200th career game, a 2 Euro 1 win against the Ottawa Senators. On June 25, 2013, Brizgalov was informed that the Flyers would use a compliance buyout to buy the remaining seven years on his contract. Equals Las Vegas Wranglers equals, on October 2, 2013, Brizgalov signed a tryout contract with the Las Vegas Wranglers of the ECHL. According to the ECHL website, Brizgalov was signed as an emergency backup goaltender by the Wranglers on October 17, 2013. Equals Edmonton Oilers equals, on November 8, 2013, Brizgalov entered a verbal agreement to sign a one-year contract with the Edmonton Oilers. He began on a conditioning assignment with the AHL affiliate of Edmonton, the Oklahoma City Barons, but was finally called up to the Oilers on November 17, 2013. On November 28, 2013, Brizgalov made his first start of the season with a 3 Euro 0 shutout win over the Nashville Predators, stopping all 33 shots. After coming in a relief role the previous night, Brizgalov posted his 31st career shutout. Coach Dallas Eakin stated after the game, and he picked up right where he left off last game. I thought he was solid. He looked big in the net, everything. Check marks right across the page for him. Starting goaltender, Dovan Dubnik, sat in as Brizgalov's backup for the night. However, Brizgalov was injured only two games later, temporarily halting his bid to supplant Dubnik to become the Oilers' starter. However, Dubnik was then traded to the Nashville Predators in January, which made Brizgalov Edmonton's new starter until he was traded. Equals Minnesota Wild equals, on March 4, 2014, Brizgalov was dealt to the Minnesota Wild in exchange for a fourth-round draft pick. He played well for the Wild down the stretch, posting a 7 a Euro 1 a Euro 3 record, and he shared playing time with goaltender Darcy Kuemper in the postseason. The Wild defeated the Colorado Avalanche in the first round but lost to the Chicago Blackhawks in round two. Brizgalov became an unrestricted free agent at the conclusion of the season. Equals return to Anaheim equals, on December 3, 2014, Brizgalov signed a tryout contract with the Anaheim Ducks, the team for which he played from 2001 to 2008. After a successful tryout, the Ducks signed him to a one-year deal reportedly worth $2.88 million on December 9, 2014. On February 23, 2015 the Ducks placed Brizgalov on waivers and he was to play for the Norfolk Admirals, fighting for a number three position with the Ducks' Jason LaBarbera. However on February 26, 2015 the Ducks put Brizgalov on unconditional waivers, normally an indication that a team is about to release a player. Shortly thereafter, the Ducks made a public statement saying Brizgalov would be returning home to his family and not finish the 2014-2015 season with them. A year away at the beginning of the NHL season, I spent all of my time with my wife and my children, a Euro said Brizgalov. A year away I drove my son and daughter to their practices and games and enjoyed life. I had no plans to return to the NHL this season until the Ducks reached out to my agent. Rich Winter. I agreed to return because of my respect for the Ducks organization, the quality of the team they had assembled and my long relationship with Bob Murray and the team. Given the way things have worked out, I have decided to return home to be with my wife and children, who did not move with me to Anaheim. Eat a Euro unregistered trademark s not the way I had hoped things would work out. 
but when you can return to a family you love, could life be any better? A Euro a Euro oh Elia has handled this difficult situation with class and dignity, and I fully understand and accept his decision, a Euro said Murray a Euro I have great respect for what a Euro unregistered trademark s accomplished in his career, and specifically what a Euro unregistered trademark s done for our franchise. He made an indelible mark on our club in the 2006 and 2007 playoffs and helped us to a championship. That a Euro unregistered trademark is not something our organization and fans will soon forget. We wish him the best of luck in the future no matter what he decides to do a Euro. International play, Brizgalov competed for Russia in the 2000 World Junior Championships in Yumiya Yen. He recorded a 0.77 GAA in four games to help Russia do a silver medal. Later that year, he was named to the Russia's senior team for the 2000 World Championships, where he played in four games, but failed to reach the podium. Two years later, he competed for Russia at the 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City earning bronze. Playing in a backup position, Brizgalov did not appear in any games. He played in a more expanded role. However, at the 2004 World Cup of Hockey, playing in 240 minutes and recording a 2.34 GAA in three games, Brizgalov received his first international gold medal at the 2009 World Championships, beating Canada in the final. Personal, Elia and his wife, Yuvenia have a daughter, Valerie and son, Vladislav. The family lived in Yorba Linda during Brizgalov's tenure with the Ducks. He spent five summers attending college in Russia, where he earned his degree, allowing him to teach and coach in Russian school. He reads books and enjoys studying philosophy. He did not emulate anyone in particular as a young goalie, instead focusing on being the best he could be. HBO 24-7, Brizgalov gained a lot of attention for his appearance in the first episode of 24-7. Road to the Winter Classic in which he famously described the solar system as humongous big while explaining the absurdity of human problems in comparison to the enormity of the universe. These views are similar to the views expressed by Carl Sagan about the pale blue dot picture. Career statistics. Equals regular season equals. Equals playoffs equals. Equals international equals. Transactions. June 24, 2000 a Euro drafted by the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim in the second round, 44th overall. November 17, 2007 a Euro claimed off waivers by the Phoenix Coyotes from the Anaheim Ducks. June 7, 2011 a Euro traded to the Philadelphia Flyers for Matt Claxon, a third round draft pick in 2012 and a conditional draft pick. June 23, 2011 a Euro signed a nine-year, $51 million deal with the Philadelphia Flyers. June 26, 2013 a Euro remaining seven years on his contract bought out by the Philadelphia Flyers. November 8, 2013 a Euro signed a one-year, $2 million deal with the Edmonton Oilers. March 4, 2014 a Euro traded to the Minnesota Wild for a fourth-round draft pick in 2014. December 9, 2014 a Euro signed a one-year. $2.88 million deal with the Anaheim Ducks. References External links, career statistics and player information from NHL.com, or EliteProspects.com, or AeroHockey.com, or Hockey-Reference.com, or the Internet Hockey Database, or TSN Car.